Hi guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about OBD2 port connectors, okay? So I've been using this ELM327 for about 18 months now, and it's done okay, you know, for the price point around 20 to 30 bucks off Amazon or eBay. Um, it's worked okay. I mean, it's done its job. I've had to unplug, replug a few times sometimes, and then now it's been a little while and it's falling apart a little bit. And then the hassle of moving the switch up and down every time you're trying to connect something, um, it's time for an upgrade, right? Okay, so I've been doing some research and based on the research on Amazon, on Google, on Forescan, so the best thing out there based on research is this OBD Link EX. Right, this is engineered specifically for Forescan. You can see it doesn't have an HSMH switch. Automatically, it should detect it. We're gonna try it out here in a bit, make sure everything works okay. Um, it has a USB plug. I like USB plugs. I know it's connected. I don't have to worry about Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. I know it's there, it's connected, no issues, okay? So let's go test it out and then we'll check out the company, see what the company's like and stay tuned uh, to the end or check out the description because I'm gonna see if we can get us a, a discount on these things for now, okay? All right guys, so let's go check it out. See what it's like, okay? All right, ignition on. Let's plug up the USB now, straight into the back of the computer. And you see it's an orange light right now, but let's plug it in and see if it changes color. And there it goes, now it's green, you see? As we're gonna open Forescan, read the warning signs here, it's okay. All right, so it wants us to make sure we have the ignition on, which it is. Uh, HSMS doesn't matter anymore, just hit okay. All right, so this is different. So let's say we can optimize performance uh, with a higher baud rate. So that's interesting. So let's hit yes. Let's actually optimize. Awesome. Okay, see how quick this goes. Oh, that's pretty fast. And it is ready. See on the bottom over here? Shows ready. So let's see what the connection is like. Let's click on settings here. Click on connection. I've seen where you can change some of these settings to some of the comm settings to make it more direct and maybe increase the, the speed of the connection. Which for Forescan it might not matter so much, but if you're kind of tuning or just really keeping track of some of this info, you can. Let's go into DTC now. Let's see how quick we can clear these. Go down here to click. You want to reset? Hit yes. Okay. Okay, so we're going to cycle the engine off and then turn it back on. Um, so, yeah, in the past it would tell you to switch it from H, switch it back to MS, and back and forth. So, this is good. You can just click clear, done. Hit okay. And it's all cleared. All right, so I, I tried it quite a few times and everything worked pretty well. I wanted to take you to the OBD Link website. As you can see, it says it right here. It's built specifically for Forescan. And again, engineered for it here in the United States. Awesome. And I think they're out of Arizona, but you can go look through the info here and go through specs and compare and you can see the apps that it's made for. But the Bion, you can actually go straight through Amazon or scantool.net. If you go to scantool.net, you can see the price here. I don't know if that's going to be the same price you know, in the future or if it's going to go back up or down. But click Add to Cart and scroll down a little bit. I'm going to see if I can get us a uh, discount code. I've been talking to the Scantool guys. Um, they've been great also giving us a pretty good info on the company and what they do. But I'm going to see if we can get us a code, right? So stay tuned. So this ELM327 is not a bad device, but if you can spend an extra five, 10, $20 extra and get this OBD link, it's the best out there. I could see why it's rated number one, highly recommend it, especially like I said, with the USB plug. All right guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of these other videos that I got.